You know, my old high school didn't even have a basement. How is it fair that this one gets a giant basement that is also served as a dungeon? Hey everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. I'm Slayer Matheson. Last time, we continued our exploration through the catacombs beneath the school grounds, and we met up with Machias, as well as three of the four girls in our class. And this time, exploration. Off screen in between episodes, I opened up the DLC. However, I am not going to switch over to there because um, there are a few spoilers within there. Um, so I do recommend being a bit careful of that. The reason I don't really see much of an issue with getting the DLC is because you just get it at at the time of recording, which would also be the time of watching. Basically, any time you get the game, you'll also get all the DLC for free. It's not really a big deal. Um, one of the big things is that it added a few more courts. Defense, Tier, Firebolt, and Attack. Uh, defense, that's one of... You know, th this is really just... It's a good way to show off uh, most of the different types of courts that we have. Already gets Tier from having Cannon. So we will give him more defense. We add anything to either of Gaius or Machias because they are locked to specific colors. You can see that, well, you know, we'll get into more of this stuff later, but for now, what we really need to know is that on the right, if you see a little color there, that means that you can only use that color of quartz in it. And just wait for him to... Wow, call me for a while. Now's our chance! Flying Felines are probably the easiest opponents within the underground dungeon. My turn. There's a reason that they were the first ones that we fought. Leave it to me. There, there we go. My turn. One down. Go. All right. There. And now yeah, it's fine. We'll be able to take the last one down. It's my turn. Eat that. Time. Yeah. Here we go. As long as Reen doesn't miss. And we're good. Okay. It's safe for now. An A plus outcome. Machias up to level 5, more stats up, always fun. Oh, what a nice looking treasure chest. And that is this treasure chest right here. Get another one for tier. Uh, I'm actually going to switch out Needle Shot for one of the tiers. Just because it's useful to have more people able to heal. Um, I believe there's only these three Now's types our chance. of enemies. We can do this. Go. Uh, Charge up a firebolt. It's my turn. Uh. <gasps> let's throw out that right. there. Have Machias charge up a uh, needle shot. Firebolt usually takes out that drone. Needle shot. Takes on that one. All right, let's keep moving. There we go. We keep on moving along. Pretty easy so far. <sighs> What's wrong? M more monsters? No, not monsters. It's. <laughs> You're pretty sharp. Oh, it's the silver-haired girl. I'm glad to see you're all right. Though, it looks like there was nothing to worry about in the first place. Nope. I'm small and quick. These things can't lay a finger on me. Oh yeah, Fee Clausel. That's my name. You're just over halfway through. Keep it up. Later. Hey, wait! Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? I'll be fine. I'm used to this. See you at the end. What just happened? Wow! She certainly wasn't fibbing about being quick on her feet. I guess we really don't need to worry about her. Yeah, 
Now I'm more convinced than ever that she knows exactly what she's doing. Just over halfway through? Has she already been to the exit and then come back? And now we know every well, we know the names of everyone in our class at least. We don't really know too much about Fee yet. The wind's behind us. Let's go. My turn. And Asher. Yeah, sure. Leave it to me. Go to Gale Stinger. It's my attack turn. Both of those. Exactly. Marcus's normal attack takes out one of them and hits the other. Here we go. And we can My pretty turn. easily take out this last one. Right. That takes care Unscathed of Unscathed is a pretty easy bonus to get. So, you know, try to get it. Especially if you cheese it out by just running far. Do you hear that? Someone's fighting up ahead. Come on! Uh, Rain! Wait for me! <laughs> Incredible! That was really something! Judging by that display, I don't think he needs any help from us. I take it that's another school of Imperial swordsmanship? Right. That's court fencing, an Agile style favored by the nobility. And judging by his poise, he's no amateur. Did you need something? <sighs> Sorry, I was just admiring your swordsmanship. I'm Reen Schwarzer. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself earlier. I I'm Elliot Craig. Guy Schwarzel, nice to meet you. I believe I have already introduced myself, but once again, I'm Yusis Alborea. And I have to say, I didn't think you had it in you. I'm impressed. What are you talking about? After all that bluster about finding your way to the exit alone, I wasn't expecting you to actually rely on others for help. I assume you came to your senses shortly after you stormed off, and then wandered back to apologize like a good boy. Truly, the virtue of the common man. Why, a preening noble such as myself would be far too proud to do such a thing. What the hell is your problem? You nobles really are all the same. So full of yourselves, it's a wonder you don't pop. And you're not just a garden variety noble either. House Alborea is one of the highest ranking in the country. I'll bet you just love looking down on us less fortunate souls, don't you? You're one to talk. I don't need a lecture in rank from the son of the Imperial Governor. Wait, what? Oh, I thought the name Regnitz sounded familiar. Karl Regnitz, the first commoner ever to hold the seat of Imperial Governor in Heimdall the first to rule the capital. And this headstrong young lad just so happens to be a chip off that old block. Pretty rarefied air for a simple commoner, don't you think? What does that have to do with anything? Yes, my father is the Imperial Governor, but he earned that position through years of hard, honest work. Don't you go lumping him in with you nepotists who get your titles handed to you just for being born. Perish the thought, no. I mainly just regard your father as a reformist, and a close friend of the Chancellor at that. <sighs> and as you're vividly aware, his faction is in conflict with the Noble Faction, led by none other than the Four Great Houses. When you look at it that way, your vitriolic disdain for the nobility suddenly seems rather... cheap, wouldn't you say? Y you son of a... M Magius, don't do it! I know he's taunting you, but lashing out at him isn't going to solve anything. And you, sis, don't you think that was a little uncalled for? I wasn't the one who started this. Let me 
damn it, just let me go already! I'm sorry, okay? Just... Leave me alone for a while. You guys should just go on ahead with him. Oh. I think you went a little too far, Yusus. Being at odds with Machias is one thing, but tracking his father into it is pretty low. You're better than that. <sighs> Perhaps I was a bit out of line. It would seem I still have much to learn. Huh? You look shocked. Why? W well you're the son of Duke Elberea, right? I wasn't expecting the son of a noble to admit he was wrong. Ah, uh, wait, no, that came out wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. <sighs> There's no need to address me so formally. We may come from different social spheres, but here at this academy, we're supposed to be on equal standing. Or so the idea goes, anyway. I yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yes, I'm with you all the way there. <sighs> is class really that big a deal here in the Empire? It is. This country has a long history and the class system has been one of its central institutions for most of that. So what are you going to do, Yusus? Machia said to go with you, but I don't want to press you into coming along if you don't want to. I was intending to press on to the exit by myself, but I'd prefer not to mimic the actions of his ilk, so I'll accompany you. Wh what I I'm just surprised we're worthy of your company. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to having you on the team. Let's just go with that. We should get moving then. Come on. And we replace Machias with Eusis. Um, that uh, decision that we had during that conversation, I don't believe that changes anything. In terms of, like, story. We might get some different dialogue, but yeah. Eusis. Let's go look at him. Eusis has the Mistral, which is beginning battle with art strength raised. Yusis is one of your most balanced people. He's very much a protean in that he can do a lot of magic and physical, and a lot of the times his crafts will uh, somewhat res uh, you know, resonate with that. Starts off with the craft of rapid thrust, uh, delays enemies and impedes, has a chance to unbalance, but you still can't unbalance, but is something in, to keep in mind. He also starts off with Golden Sphere. Golden Sphere, um, it is not one of the four elements that we can see on the uh, elemental efficacies. So, we'll have to... <laughs> he seems kind of imposing. I don't know how to break the ice. Yeah, his Golden Sphere will essentially have 800% efficacy on everything. Start off with an Autumn Leaf Cutter. I think we can hit. Can we? Oh, we can't hit all four. That's a shame. There. My turn. Golden Sphere is our first one that has an area. We did see it in the cold open. Is there a way? To there we go. It's my turn. You'll see me doing that quite a lot. Just like trying to finagle for the exact pixel that will allow me to hit more enemies than that. <laughs> there than, you know, what you seemingly should be able to. Yeah. And that does a lot of damage to all of those guys. Is very nice. Throw that out there. Autumn leaf cutter on these lads. Very well. Critical. That one can't do anything. This one will be able to. And because it's a crit, it's able to take down that coin beetle. All right. Um. That one has very low health, so... I can just Gale Stinger. Yeah, he has three health left. I'll handle this. So, as long as that hits, yeah. Here we go! 
it looks like My we'll turn. be able to actually clear this out without any damage. All right. And we'll air strike that one. Most of your attacks will end up pushing enemies a little bit, so keep that in mind. That sometimes uh, what you have targeted won't actually what a waste be what's of time. hit. Let's go. Lots of level five. Green gets motivate. Motivate is very useful. It adds another ten CP. It also boosts everyone who's in its range with a twenty-five percent strength buff, and it has a very large range. So yeah, Motivate is Reen, perhaps fitting as the main protagonist, is very much about leadership and buffing his allies. At least with Motivate. You'll be using Motivate a lot. Motivate, Autumn Leaf Cutter, those are kind of your main two crafts. Just keep on exploring. Flying Feline, I'll ignore this one. Got a green drum as well as a wooden chest. There are three levels of chest. Uh, I, th I think it's in this game that there's three. Bring it on. Um, player installments. Here we go. For sh I know for sure two has a another at least one more um, chest level, Marcus but I don't act. recall if that's <laughs> in this one or not. Mainly, All right. anytime you see a chest, just try to grab it. Um, especially because uh, in this game, you will very rarely be able to very return well. to an area. So do your 100% completion basically as soon as possible. And we're not going to get unscathed, but that's fine. Alright, drones are able to use arts of their own, and this is when something that can impede would be useful. You just interrupt them from their charge up. <laughs> How pathetic. Golden Sphere is a very useful skill. Uh, it's a very useful art to have because it has that set range, and it's not too bad of a range. It's not the best, it's not the worst, but. Having a decent range is always a good thing to do. Coin Beetle, I'm going to ignore you. Flying Feline, if it's a we fight, might as well go. go in. There. Autumn Leaf Cutter on these two. <laughs> I like to cast. Oh, that actually works it's very well for me. And then. Sure. <laughs> Aim for those two. It'd be cool if Ellie could take them out. Yeah. My turn. And Golden Sphere definitely won't be able to hit all of them. So I'll just settle for the zero arts taking up both of those. I believe I've mentioned that zero arts uh, completely lose the charge of time as well. Also, uh, perhaps as expected, okay? you might have seen that from some of the other ones. Everything that the, that goes huh. during that turn that has game. an effect, will get that effect. Evade 1, I want to add that on Geist. Geist is very good at evading, Insight is a very useful status, so... Geist is pretty good with evading. That said, uh, Falco, which is... I think he has Falco. Uh, his starting one isn't the best. These are all three enemies. Uh, we are heading towards the final boss room, so these are the three enemies that we have. You can see what their stats are. If you want 100% completion, make sure to discover all of them. We have an armament charging station here, and if I can actually get close enough to it to use it... And if we look at the map, that looks like a boss room, so we'll be heading into there in the next episode. So, until then, see you guys later.